Okay, Margaret Walters in the house. Do we have Margaret? There she is, great. Okay. Margaret looks like might be representing the whole of the folk industry, are you? Of the folk world? Good day. Yeah. Margaret Walters, everybody. Puppy. He was a fucking bastard. <laughs> all the singing sessions he'd interrupt, they were all flowing marvellously, and he'd come in roaring and saying, Why didn't we sing Philo? And, uh, and I remember organising a, uh, a wonderful concert once. It was a whole string of stories that, uh, that were linked together by songs, and I said, No clapping till the end. Mm. Cluffy did not like that. And uh, when it came to the end and everyone was clapping vigorously, uh, he got up and everyone hushed because they thought, Cluffy's going to say something really brilliant here. And he said, oh, Maggie, uh, she works hard, but she has no talent. <laughs> but you've got to love the old bugger just the same. <laughs> I think I could match him for the swearing, though. Um, now, I, I've got two purposes up here. I've got to, uh, maybe Colin Burke's apologies have already been sent, uh, but if not, I'll repeat them. Um, she's having a book launch. She's feeling crook and, and really did want to come this afternoon, but couldn't. Uh, next Saturday, she's having a book launch. This is her 13th poetry collection. And she said that Cluffy always used to come to her book launches, so there's a good hint for you, and I'll drop some of these around the table soon. Um, and it's a book called Cloud Hands, and uh, uh, starting 2.30 for 3, here next Saturday, 13th. And I've only got one Phil Oak song. Oh, <laughs> and I meant to check if someone else has booked out. When I'm gone? There's no place in this world where I'll belong when I'm gone. And I won't know the right from the wrong when I'm gone. And you won't find me singing on this song when I'm gone. So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. Please join in if you're not. And I won't feel the flowing of the time when I'm gone. All the pleasures of love will not be mine when I'm gone. Can't my pen won't pour out a lyric line when I'm gone. So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. All the days won't be dances of delight when I'm gone. All the sands will have shifted from my sight when I'm gone. Can't add my name into the fight when I'm gone. So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. And I won't be running in the rain when I'm gone. And I can't suffer from the pain when I'm gone. Can't say who's to praise and who's to blame when I'm gone. So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. And I won't breathe the bracing air when I'm gone. And I can't worry about my cares when I'm gone. Dum da 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 yeah, when I'm gone. And I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. And I won't see the golden of the sun when I'm gone. All the mornings and the evenings will be one. When I'm gone, can't sing louder than the guns when I'm gone. So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. There's no place in this world where I'll belong when I'm gone. And 
And I won't know the right from the wrong when I'm gone. Can't add my name into the fight when I'm gone. So I guess I'll have to do it while I'm here. Yes, I guess I'll have to do it while I'm Keep it going for Margaret Walters, please, mate. We've got Dan and Nick Gates, and Bill Wilson down as well. I just want to say about Margaret Walters. Now, okay, I'm the, I think if Johnny Clough's dead, I must be one of the oldest people around. Anyway, I've seen a lot of the old comrades die. But I, look, Johnny Clough, and I remember Johnny Dengate talking about this, as a lot of the old comrades sort of fell by the wayside. Everybody gives them a saintly sort of acknowledgement. Well, now they weren't saints. I've been around. I'm. A, I just realised I'm older than Johnny Clough was. I've been around and seen them doing some things they didn't want to know about. But Johnny Clough would sit at the, as everybody's acknowledged, at the front. Now I heard him be not very polite to Margaret Waters. And he would say, well, I won't repeat it, but he'd just say not very nice things about Margaret, what she acknowledged herself. And um, I think uh, Miguel, I remember, uh, I sang in the choir, with Miguel Hanfield, and he said, I said, oh, you want to get involved with the folk mob there over at the, um, what's the pub over there at Redfern? And, and, um, now, I didn't always go because I had children to look after. You know the story, don't you, women? I was home with the kids, but John Dengate was out singing with the boyos and the girlos who didn't have kiddies to look after. And so... Um, we took the kids village. Oh, okay, that was... <laughs> no, well, my kiddies didn't go and sleep under the pool table. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> okay, some did, I'm not... Okay, you know, remember I'm older than all of you, and so this was the whole thing. I sent Miguel along, and so Miguel said, I met him in Glee Point Road, and he said, oh, no, I don't think I'll be going back to sing there. And I said, oh, Miguel, why not? He said, oh, this man called Johnny Clough. He told me not to sing. I wasn't singing the right song the night. And now Miguel has added that. I sang in a choir and he had this beautiful tenor song and he read music that not many people could read. Anyway, I said, mate, if you haven't been criticised by Johnny Clough, you're not a folky. <laughs> was almost the way you could tell. Did you really go and sing at that pub? Did Johnny Clough criticise you or tell you, you know, you weren't loud enough, you didn't have the right, you couldn't sing like Phil Oaks? Oh, he's an ASIO plant. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to support dear Margaret Walters because she's been one of those, talk about union organisers, she's been one of the women who's been organising folk singers, singing songs unaccompanied. And you know, the mob, Tyler, Tyler Twisty Swisty, whatever, she turned a Swifty on the mob. She's a billionaire. Good on her, because not many of us musos make it to a bloody cent. <laughs> I know, having supported her husband to go to folk festivals and so on. But we had a bloody good time, and you can't pay for that, can you? And so... Just another cheer for Margaret Wallace because I've always admired her. <laughs> and so did Johnny Clark because he criticised her. Go, Johnny! Another round of applause for, for Dale for supporting Margaret. I would like to ask Margaret to come up now to support that. <laughs> no, not really. Can we have Mr. Peter Russell?
in the house. Uh, there he is. Another great 